Hey guys, it's the Crazy Kindle Lady. I am excited to announce this is actually going to be my first haul of the Candleberry candles. I am so excited. I just received my package a couple minutes ago. I opened the package. I have yet to smell them. So let's get started. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the first candle. Sorry guys. I'm looking up the scent notes online here. Okay. Let's see. Now, um, all the jars I ended up purchasing are the 26 ounce. And instead of $26.99, they are on sale for $24.99. But then I used a code. Um, if you guys use the code mobile 15 you get 15 percent off your entire purchase which is pretty nice um so this one is called it's kind of dusty marshmallow and embers looks like this nice gray wax kind of reminds me of like a smoky fog color um it says, take a walk back to childhood as the rich fragrance of toasted marshmallow mingles with the smells of charred firewood and vanilla bean. The campfire has just begun to flicker as evening descends and stories begin to tempt the imagination. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, it seems like it has like firewood with like marshmallow smells and vanilla bean. These it these lids these lids are definitely interesting. So they go on just like that, and then you have to. That's what the lids look like. Oh my god. This honest honestly smells amazing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Bath and Body Works um, Marshmallow Fireside Candle. A little bit, except this is so much stronger. Like, I don't know. Um, it's amazing. I definitely get the, like, the smell of the toasted marshmallows. You're sitting over the fire and the marshmallows are like not practically charred but like browned enough and like melted like you can smell that <sighs> i can smell the firewood in the background oh my god this is amazing i am so excited to burn this one this is definitely like a fall candle um you could burn it in the winter I'm sure you could burn it all year long if you want. Um, let's see, the burn time on these candles, does it say? Sorry, guys. Um, let me check. Burn time. Hmm. I am not finding the burn time on these. Weird. Does it say at the bottom? It does not say. All right, that is okay. Let's go on with the next one. Ooh, this is a popular one. At least that's what everyone is saying. Um, okay, let me bring it up here. Hot maple toddy. Oh my God. Okay, I'm excited to smell this. It says here, it's a pretty long description. Um, this video, it might be long, but that's okay. If you guys are willing to sit back and watch, good. <laughs> um, we describe hot maple toddy as the bourbon infused maple honey connocation grandma used to cure all alignments in the days before medicine was readily available. A uh, warm spirits dashed with lemon juice, clove, honey, a dash of cinnamon, and Candleberry's top secret special ingredient that makes this an absolutely explosive fragrance unduplicatable by any company in the world, combined to make an experience of utter happiness. We top secretively blend the seven to eight 
different fragrances that make this top seller in-house, which is why no matter what you see, hear, or read, you will never find this kind of amazing performance in a maple toddy, hot toddy, or bourbon toddy, spiced apple toddy, toasty hot toddy, or any other version of the name other companies have attempt to use in duplication that can possibly compete, although many have attempted non-compare. Experience the true hot maple toddy for yourself in our 26 ounce jar candle. Oh my God. Now I can see why this is their best fragrance. Oh my God. Dang, they only have 20 re 21 reviews. Um, so it seems like they're not well known but this is honestly their best fragrance is what everyone says online here. Um, they are also based out of Kentucky, just like um, Goose Creek, I believe. Uh, Frank Fort, Kentucky is where they are based out of. Oh my gosh. This honestly smells so amazing. Now all these 26 ounce jars, they aren't two wick. They are only one wick. Um, but yeah, that's okay. It smells so damn amazing. Oh my gosh. I am excited to burn that. Okay. Let's go on with the next one. I still smell the candles even with the lids on right now. Like I'm getting different whiffs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. This one here is warm apple cider. I have been looking for a true apple cider um, candle. So yeah, we shall see. This one only has four reviews, um, but it's five stars. Uh, it says here, there's a tang that fills your nose when fresh apple cider warms up a mug and fills up a room. It's not apple pie or apple pan dowdy or even warm fritters, but all those in a symphony together, this is the best of the season. I want to see what some people have said. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one person... Um, that I could smell the candle before it even came out of the box. Okay. I believe how true to cider it smelled. Mmm. Oh my god. I am so freaking happy. <sighs> wow. This honestly smells like hot apple cider. Oh my god. Wow. It literally smells like I'm at like my grandma's house and she is making hot apple cider in her um pot that she usually does uh during the holidays and oh, she serves it to me and I just get that big whiff of like oh, the the apples, the cinnamon, the maybe even nutmeg. This, no, this seriously smells like a true apple cider candle. Straight up. I'm not lying. If you guys like hot apple cider, you will like this candle. I swear. No lies here. <laughs> okay. Let's go on with the other one. So some of these are older candles, and then I will show you the new ones that they just um, put online that I ended up purchasing, um, which is here in the box. So I will show you guys in a second. Oh my God. Cinnamon rum bananas. <sighs> this is interesting. 12 reviews on this one. Um, fragrance description. Cinnamon rum bananas is cousin to bananas foster without the obvious banana. The fragrance is as though you've mashed just a few overly ripe banana slices, cooked them to a caramel, powdered them with cinnamon, drenched the mix in dark rum, and set a flame. For nothing more than a wonderful fragrance in your home, it's not clearly cinnamon, banana, or rum, but a perfect blend of the three. 
so much that you will be hard pressed to recognize the notes without knowing them. This scent is guaranteed to be the next blockbuster on the Kindleberry historical lineup. It's one of those fragrances we came across and knew immediately that we had something special. The details of the fragrance top notes of creamy bananas, cinnamon petals, and bergamot, middle notes of rich milk, sheer spice accord, and banana blooms, and finally, base notes of cedarwood, sweet musk, and vanilla beans. Hmm. Interesting. What the f Oh my god. Wow. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, just like what I just read in the freaking description. It smells like you literally just cut up bananas. <sighs> oh my God. And you sprinkled cinnamon on it. And you drizzled like rum and then mixed it up together and eat it. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So amazing, guys. Wow. Wow. I love this. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And then it just snaps on like that. Okay. Let me show you some of the new ones that just came out this year, I believe, because I didn't see any reviews on them other than maybe like one, um, but I think they are new. And they're more on the fall side. Okay. Spiced pumpkin pie. So it's pumpkin, not pumpkin. <laughs> um, this only has one review, but that's okay. Fragrance description, the savory scent of nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice, and pumpkin puree combined to tease your taste buds. Let's see what this person said, because it's only one review. Um, I'm in love with this candle. Over the years, I've tried multiple pumpkin pie candles from various companies. I just got into Candleberry this year, and when I saw this one, I knew I had to try it. It's a total winner. The perfect blend of fall spices and creamy pumpkin puree smells so warm and delicious. This is a very strong, well-performing candle. I recommend this candle for anyone who is a fall or pumpkin spice fanatic like me. Seriously, you won't regret it. Okay. Well, let's see. So far, I have yet to not like any of these. Like on cold, all of these are super strong. Like I can smell that marshmallow ember still with that the lid on and it's away from me. That's how crazy they smell. Oh my God. Wow. So I have pumpkin pie. In the Goose Creek. That is more of like a very cinnamony pumpkin pie. Like you don't really get as much of the pumpkin. Um, you get more cinnamon. This, I actually smell the pumpkin. Like it literally smells like the pumpkin puree, like um that you buy from the store, and it's like in those like um jars. Oh my god. I get all the spices. Wow. I am impressed. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so happy. I can't wait to start burning these candles. Um, yeah, I only got seven of them. I know, odd number. Okay. Let's do the next new one that came out. Let's see here. This only has one review as well. It's called Fall Festival. So this actually has the notes right here, which is perfect. So it says sweet potato pie, buttercream cake, and candy apple. Interesting notes. Um, yeah. It says, Fall Festival is a delicious trio of amazing fragrances that are particularly de delightful during the fall months, featuring sweet potato pie, buttercream cake, and candy apple. Now, this one um, is really cool because it has the three layers. 
I'm guessing right when I take off the lid, I'm only mainly going to swell, <laughs> swell, <laughs> smell sweet potato pie, the buttercream cake, this one, and then the candy apple. Sorry about the noise. That is my fiance working downstairs in the garage. This person said, Vicky, um, she said that this is one of my favorite fall candles. It has the apple, sugar, and buttery smell of fall baking. It's the prettiest candleberry ever. It smells heavenly. Let's see. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. So this compared to the sweet pumpkin pie. Let's see trying to think I'm sorry spiced pumpkin pie and then okay spiced pumpkin pie this is more on the spicier side not super spicy but more on the spicier side this is more on the sweet side the fall festival candle because I definitely smell the sweet potato pie and it's sweet. I get a hint of the buttercream cake in the background. Not so much of the candy apple just yet, but that's because that's at the very bottom, but we shall see. I am excited. I know, sorry this video is long guys, but I'm super excited about these candles because I've been looking online for the past couple months at them and I'm like, nah, they are expensive, but I did end up finding, um, like I said, the coupon code for them. I'm like, wait a second. Well, that'll actually help. So why not? Um, alrighty. Okay. This is called... Oops, I almost dropped it. That would have been really bad. How embarrassing. Okay, home for the holidays. Love the colors on this. This is so cool. Like a dark, rich red with a bright apple red and a brown. Um, this only has one review as well. So three layers of yummy pumpkin fudge creamy baked custard, and delicious ambrosia cake. I don't know what ambrosia cake is. That makes me feel stupid. Um, interesting. Yeah, if you guys know what ambrosia cake is, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really love to know. Um, actually, I could look it up here on my computer myself and then tell you guys what, what ambrosia cake is. So I did actually find how long these candles burn, um, the 26 ounces. They burn up to 135 to 155 hours. And these are all soy, bl soy blended candles, 100% lead free, which is good. Let's see what this person said about this candle. Her name is Bethany. Uh, Bethany said that this candle candles fabulous all the way through and I love getting three fragrances for the money but if you would make the top layer into a candle by itself I would stockpile it you could call it something like spiced chocolate pumpkin dreams so she wishes I mean she loves this candle but she wishes it was just the pumpkin fudge wow what the heck this smells so, some like, something I've never smelt before, which is good because, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I definitely smell pumpkin fudge, like it's pumpkin-y, but then you get the fudge, like the chocolate in the background. That sounds super weird to me, but like the combination is just really good. Okay, let me look up... Um, ambrosia cake for you guys okay I know I'm just talking and talking um, ambrosia cake it's more of like a southern okay um, let's see here oh. 
Okay, I feel stupid. Let's just do this. Um, what is ambrosia cake? Here we go. Please show me something. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So ambrosia cake has mandarin, mandarin orange layers and fluffy pineapple frosting. So it's like old fashioned dessert. Um, if you love combination of oranges, coconut and marshmallows. Okay. That's what ambrosia is. Hmm. I don't smell any of that right now. I don't even smell baked custard. I do not smell the ambrosia cake. All I'm getting is the top layer, which is fine. Um, but like I said, pumpkin fudge. Oh my God. I like it. I will definitely do reviews for you guys and let you know what I think of these candles because I do have seven of them. And yeah, when August first, when I can't talk, I'm so excited. When August first hits, I am going to try and wake up at 12 a.m. and get right online the online to the Kringle website and pre-order those Halloween candles. I have yet to purchase um, Kringle candles. Uh, I only have them in like the daylight candles, which is like super super small. Um, so I'm going to be excited to hopefully grab my hands on the Halloween candles. Um, I found out Goose Creek also, um, has nine new scents on their website. Let's hope they didn't post any more before I ended up checking <laughs> because last night I checked, it was nine new scents. They might've put more, um, but let's double check here. Oh my god. I have, the pumpkin fudge is still in my nose. That's how crazy this is. What the heck? Like I can't get it out of my nose. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Goose Creek. You guys are being so slow. The website. Okay. Wow. So strong. Those candles are strong. Like powerhouse on cold that is insane like I love Goose Creek so freaking much and every time you know I purchase a Goose Creek candle and take off the lid I smell it really good but these it literally is staying in my nose like I can't get it out <laughs> that's how crazy that is wow okay I'm gonna stop talking about that so let's go to the Goose Creek website, um, new to old. Okay. And then I think it is nine new fragrances, but let me just double check for you guys, because I know a lot of my subscribers love Goose Creek candles. Okay. Ooh, yes. So if you go to their website and you go under sort by scroll down to date new to old, click on that and it will show you the new ones that they um, just posted yesterday. So there's four, eight, and nine. Yeah, I'm correct. So, wow. Amazing. There is one called Gingerbread Donuts. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like how much I'm talking today. I told you guys I wouldn't make this video that long, but oh well. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Gingerbread donuts on the Goose Creek website. Gingerbread, bread donut, spice, and vanilla. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for fall and Halloween candles. Not that I need any more now that I just got these. I literally am running out of space to put my candles. I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> I have no clue where I'm going to start putting the rest of these. Um, ooh, this one smel so <laughs> smells. This one sounds good too. Cider House Donuts. Because oh, I love cider. But that literally smells spot on like freaking hot apple cider. I've never smelled a candle that honestly smells that great of a 
apple cider candle, that's what I meant to say. Um, let's see, this has fried donut, warm cider, apple, sugar, and vanilla. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about the goose, and yeah, so they have nine new fall candles on their website right now. I have no clue when they are going to post their Halloween candles, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, I think this will be interesting. So Kringle is posting theirs online August 1st at 12 in the morning. So I'm going to set my alarm if I'm asleep <laughs> um, to do that. Goose Creek, I wonder if they're going to do theirs August 1st as well. And then I also came across a Philly Candleman. I am subscribed to him on YouTube. There's this company called Absinthe Minded candles. They look super interesting. Um, <laughs> like, I'll actually tell you guys some of the stuff. Um, I know I'm all over the place today. Let's see. Oh, coming soon. The Halloween Collection Series 2 pre-order announcement is coming soon, plus other new releases. Use code HURRYFALL15 at checkout for 15% off your entire purchase. Now, this is with Absinthe Minded Wicks. Um, they have collections. So, okay, let me just go over this with you guys. So, they have some of their collections. There's one called the Love Lauren Collection. If you guys are interested into, like, spooky type candles um yeah let's see for some reason um i've been pissed off my phone won't let me swap like show you guys what i'm looking at i want to show you guys what i'm looking at but it won't let me do it as i'm doing this video right now so <sighs> but yeah let me see i know this is stupid but let's see if i could kind of like show you guys so yeah, that one's called Love Lorn. Then they have Love Sick. Sorry, I don't want to make you guys di dizzy. Dark Devotion and In Memoriam. But they have way more than that. And some of their scent notes are interesting. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I will see you guys later.